This is AccuTouch for self-care. This is a bi-weekly free live series for well-being. They're experimental, about 30-minute sessions uh, where practitioners from WellSet, the holistic digital platform that I personally work for, and other practitioners around the world, um, where we offer self-care practices that you can do at home or wherever you have access to to Wi-Fi and a comfortable, quiet space. So I do invite you to find that comfortable, quiet space right now. And I will share a little bit more about myself and a little bit more about Well Set, but for now, just grabbing some water, turning on some incense, maybe a candle, just getting cozy, maybe turning off turning your phone on do not disturb so you don't have any other notifications coming through and you're welcome to add comments um, somebody will be answering your questions or comments somebody from well set and while I lead us through an AccuTouch practice or AccuPressure, and this is one of my favorite things to offer my clients. It's just so accessible. Very effective. All right. So again, this is a collaboration with the Heal documentary. If you haven't seen it on Netflix, you should check it out. And Well Set. It is the first digital holistic health studio for mind, body, and emotional well-being. We have thousands of memberships now and through individuals and companies, and we offer live and on-demand classes. So right now, now we have 20 evidence or science backed based uh, practices in movement and mindfulness pra movement and mindfulness. Uh, for example, yoga, Ayurvedic, um, sound healing, journaling, hypnosis, um, EFT and acupressure, which I will share with you today. So I've been a WellSet practitioner and, well, I've been a WellSet instructor since 2019, and I've been a holistic health practitioner um, for 19 years, uh, so quite a while. It's been my whole life career and passion, both personally and professionally, and so I have many different modalities that I um, kind of weave into my practices. The um, the acupressure that I'm sharing today is from traditional Chinese medicine, which is probably or at least currently known as the oldest form of medicine or healing. And it's um, it works with the different energy lines, also known as meridians in the body, and it also works with different points or um, acupressure, acu, this is where acupuncture comes from, different points on those energy lines to um, access different organs or different systems in the body. So the Chinese doctors created this mapping system that they also recorded um, and they linked elements and organs and directions of blood flow. It's super fascinating and 
highly in depth and complex. So I'm going to share with you three, at least three um, acupressure points for just like a simplicity uh, purpose that are very effective in accessing um, integration and relaxation because our topic today is just simply self-care. So the points I chose are very accessible. You can do them seated or in a public place, you know, at any point if you want to just ground or integrate or calm your energy. So it's a beautiful way to integrate the physical aspect because you're touching yourself um, and then the mental, emotional, spiritual aspects as well. So I encourage you to, again, find a comfortable space and we'll start to tune into our breath. So always first and foremost, connecting with this innate um, involuntary action of our bodies, which is breathing. This happens consciously or unconsciously. So I invite you to be in a conscious breathing practice right now. Noticing if you're breathing in and out of your nose or mouth. And I invite you to breathe in and out of the nose if you can, if that's possible, if your nasal sinus passages are clear. This breathing in and out of the nose clears um, or calms and um, paces your breath. So you can even close your eyes as you begin to connect in with the texture, the feeling, the sensation, maybe even the, the temperature of the air as it comes in and out through your nose. Beautiful. Inviting the breath in down and deeper into your torso, you know, through the lungs, all the way down down through into the low belly or the diaphragm. And so just feeling that full body breath, kind of a rhythm, get into a rhythm or a wave like motion. And you can begin to drop into that meditative space with your breath. beautiful. And now I invite you to place your hands on your body somewhere. One of my favorite positions is just um, over the chest and over the lower torso somewhere, right below the ribs or over the navel center, your belly button. And so this is where you can just really connect in with the rhythm that's happening in your body as you're breathing and maybe even the heartbeat maybe you can even feel your heartbeat and so as we're breathing, I wanna just thank you again for being here, for tuning in to this um, transmission that we're doing through Instagram. Thank you for taking time to learn something new or perhaps practice something you already know with me. Either way, you're tending to your body. And this is already an act of self-care, activating that healing that you have access to always in your body, that healing energy. And so for the next 20 minutes, we'll be somatically integrating energy, feeling, sensations, 
through touch and breath. Already your nervous system is calming down before we've even begun with the acute touch. So our first point of the of the day of this practice here is going to be a point for clearing the mind. And so it's right in between the brows. So go ahead and just find the bridge of your nose. And then find that little indentation where it connects to the forehead. And then go up a little bit. So you're right in between the eyebrows. And you can use one finger, two or two fingers, or even, you know, one from each hand. Just whatever feels feels right for you right now. And so this point, this is called yin tang, also known as the hall of impression. So all of these acupressure points, they all have this, this name. It usually is connected with an organ. Um, and then there's kind of a title or a description afterwards. So this is Yin Tang, also known as the Hall of Impression. So we're just going to gently press. You can even circle or just move back and forth and up and down. So we're stimulating this point. Each acupressure point is probably about half of a pinky finger size. So it's a pretty small point. And you'll know you're on it when you feel a little sens sensitivity or just like achiness, maybe a little sh sharpness even. There should be a little extra sensation and that's how you know you found it. And we'll be on each point for about two minutes. It might seem like, like a long time, but this is a the average um, amount of time it takes for the pr you know the acupressure to be effective. So, so while you're stimulating the point, it's a you're just breathing. You're just tuning in, in to the sensations that are happening as you press this point. So again, the benefits of this point, yin tang, is clearing mental fog, specifically relaxing the brain and the muscles of the face. It's not connected to a particular organ, this point. It is part of an extraordinary meridian channel or line. And the extraordinary meridians, um, there's 12 of them, and they each have, um, they each connect to a couple different organs or systems in the body. So this is a very integrative point as well. So we're just pressing and moving back and forth. We'll be here for a couple more breaths. This point is also known to support that connection to subtle sensations, to your energy body, to your intuition, to that inner knowing. And so from here, now let's take both fingers and we're just going to move along the brow line. There's a brow line. And we're just going to press and pulse along the brow line. So moving any energy that we just stimulated and cleared from yin tang, we're moving it out and away from the center of the forehead to the temples. And we'll just sort of circle forward and back on those 
soft spaces on either side of the eye. Pressing, we'll just do this a couple times. And this should be very relaxing to the eyes and the face. And so now I'm moving down from the temples towards the earlobes. So I always include a little just like self massage in the AccuTouch. So we essentially will press on a specific acupressure point. And then we'll do a little massage to kind of move the energy that we just stimulated. So now I'm pulling on my ears, just pulling up out away from the center and then down. Relaxing the jaw, the tongue, the eyes. You can do this as, as many times as you like. And I chose acupressure points that are here on the upper body because of, you know, Instagram and what is available. But there's acupressure points all over the body, and um, if you do tune in to a class of mine, we will um, access many other points. But the second point we're going to do, so we'll move down from the earlobes all the way down to our collarbones. So feeling that clavicle bone. And we're just going to move to the center. There's a little notch, a little indentation in your collarbone. So go ahead and find that. And then we're going to move out away from the center of the collarbone or the clavicle, just about two finger width distance from the middle, from the center. Okay. And then move down and underneath the collarbone. So when you move Move down and underneath the collarbone, you'll be in between the first rib and the clavicle. There's a little space. And we can use both hands here. We're going to stimulate the right and the left side. So this point is called kidney 27. So this point is connected to an organ, the kidneys. And, and you're just, the options is thumb and index finger or middle finger, or two um, index finger and middle fingers either side. So just play around what's more comfortable because we'll be here for two minutes. And you're just stimulating back and forth, forward and back, up and down. Again, welcome to anyone who's joining. My name is Janet DeHart, and I'm a well-set practitioner, holistic health teacher, and um, student, lifelong student of holistic health and wellness. And we're just stimulating acupressure points for some self-massage, some self-care today. This point, kidney 27, is also known as the elegant mansion. It's such a pretty term and concept. Another word for it is the spirit storehouse. So you can interpret that as you like. This point um, is supposed to help clear um, influenza, so symptoms of the flu, which could be congestion in the chest, um, cough, um, just like overall tension that happens when your body is, you know, fighting some sort of disease or infection. Nice deep breaths. It's also um, considered to be a master immunity point. So stimulating these points right here, kidney 27 is supposed to boost your immunity. 
Um, um, and the kidneys, they govern blood flow and filtering the blood. So it's supporting um, the filtering and the clearing of blood. As well the as well as um, connecting these points to organs, the Chinese doctors also mapped out emotions connected to points connected to organs. So kidneys are supposed to um, uh, relate to the feeling, the emotion of fear. And so stimulating this point can help activate, clear, move um, any feelings of fear in the body, help you recover from fear. All right, so we've been here for about four minutes now, so we're going to release that. Maybe just shake out your hands if they're getting a little tired. And then we're, we're going to do a final point to finish up. Um, and that is right on the back of our shoulder. So this is called gallbladder 21, also known as the shoulder well. And you're going to find it by just hooking your fingers over the shoulder and you can e even pinch the trapezius. There should be a little indentation there and you just pinch and hold. So the gallbladder point of gallbladder 21, the shoulder well, um, this is supposed to release just um, all of that tension, the weight of the world that you carry, the weight of responsibilities. We all have experienced how our shoulders go up into our ears as we're getting stressed out. Um, we all do a lot of things with our shoulders these days. And um, so it not only can help relax muscularly, but it also is super supportive for releasing energetically just overall stress and tension that we accumulate. And the gallbladder is connected to the emotion of anger. Uh, so it helps release any buildup of frustration or anger. A lot of times we don't have a safe space or um, you know, you know, an accurate time to express anger. And a lot of times it can come out in these um, inopportune moments, you know, when there's a buildup. And this is, this goes for a lot of emotions, right? So the more we can be in touch with our emotions and release it um, just in little bits throughout the day, um, somatically, maybe we don't need to blow up at our, our loved one. So again, gallbladder 21, this is our final point for our practice. And what I'm doing here is I'm just pinching the trapezius. And it's probably pretty tight. Um, it could even feel numb. So you might be here for a little bit. And you do it by just crossing one hand over. So that's our final point for today. Um, to just finish up, we can just bring our hands to our chest. We can do little taps on our stern. Um, we can roll the shoulders, just start to move, move that energy that we've released through those three points. And this is really, really just a, a taste. Um, and hi, hello, ladies, to everybody, ladies and gentlemen who I know who are joining and saying hello. I see you. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Um, so, again, 
And my name is Janet DeHart. I'm going to throw my Instagram handle in the comments so you can follow me for more info. I also invite you to um, follow Heal Documentary if you're not already a well set for um, just like more offerings like this. Just little sample sessions, opportunities to learn more about self-care. All of these practices are highly effective and accessible. So it's been such a pleasure working with WellSet um, over the years and I invite you to check them out. Um, and you can follow along every two weeks for these um, these simple offerings. So they're all 25 to 30 minutes. Oh, thank you. You're so welcome. Uh, I am reading the comments if anyone has a question or um, I'll try to answer that in the next few minutes. So again, um, what we did today, it's based of based out of, you know, thousands of years of um, healing practitioners and, you know, Chinese medicine doctors, they located thousands of acupressure points. And now we've kind of narrowed it down to like in between two and 300 that we utilize. Most acupuncture doctors um, utilize those points. So it's pretty fascinating. Um, I'm going to post my Instagram handle again, just in case you all want to check me out. Beautiful. So again, the benefits of most of the classes that are offered through WellSet, uh, but certainly the AccuTouch um, is, you know, just supportive of helping manage stress, reducing that any anxiety um, patterns, you know, help shift deeper habits, energetic or familial or ancestral even. Uh, we do have practitioners who are highly trained in that. Mm -hmm but also simply boosting mood, helping improve your sleep, um, and overall just that integration that we all need, helping feel more balanced in our everyday lives, our professional, our personal, our romantic, you know, um, there's travel tips. It's, it's really incredible. Um, seeing on here EFT, yes, energetic um, EFT. I'm going on a mind blank right now what that is, but I have practiced it and we do offer that through, through WellSet. So. Thank you all again for joining, uh, taking 30 minutes out of your day to tend to yourself. Um, and on, on behalf of everyone in the Heal documentary and everyone at well set I wish you a beautiful rest of your Sunday and weekend be well oh yes emotional freedom technique yes that is EFT <laughs> I look forward to seeing you all in my AccuTouch um, acupressure classes right now I'm offering them on Monday evenings so it's a really great way to start your week um, to wrap up your Mondays. All right, beautiful. I'm going to drop my Instagram handle one more time and, and then I'm going to sign off. So All right, let's, I'm going to finish with a nice closing deep breath. Inhaling, filling up. 
exhaling, releasing everything out. Thank you and ciao for now.